Hello and welcome to Sierra Make. It was my friend's birthday very recently and so I thought I would make them a super cute mushroom hat. So let's dive into it. For the shape of it, I just used a simple beret hat pattern. This one I got from Hello Sewing. But if you want to make your own pattern, just make sure you get the circumference of your head find the diameter from that and then add two or three inches to create the outer circle. Next we're just going to cut that out of some felt. So here I have some nice red felt and it's folded over on that half circle side and I just cut that out. So we can see when we open that up we have a full circle and then a little donut and the full circle and the outside of the donut should be the same size. Now we're just going to sew those two circles together. And then I just flipped that inside out and tried it on. And this is where I realized that somehow I had printed out my pattern too big. So the headpiece is too wide. But that's okay. I'm just going to fix it by adding some of this brown on the inside. So basically what I'm doing is I'm making a whole nother donut using that inside cut plus some seam allowance of the previous pattern. Here you can see what I meant by that, and I gave myself like two more inches of this brown felt. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to sew those two pieces together by doing the outer edge to the inner edge of the felt hat. So I'm going to sew these edges together. As I'm sewing, I'm just going to curve that brown edge around so that it lines up with my red edge and there you go you can see the seam is hidden on the inside and we've extended that inner circle so that it actually fits the size of a head and it actually gave us this cute little headband that holds it onto our head now we can move on to the detailing. So for this, we're going to grab some felting equipment. So we have some loose wool here along with some felting needles and some foam. To felt these polka dots onto our mushroom cap, we're going to take our piece of foam and stick it inside the hat. And we're going to make sure it's always under whatever area we're felting. Now I'm just going to grab a section of the wool that I have and kind of roll it up into a little circular ball shape and grab my felting needle and just start felting. Uh, I would start with a small one to attach it first and then you can use the big one to get the general. Oh, oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> If you haven't guessed by now, my sister has significantly more experience felting and making felt little creatures and stuff. So she's kind of walking me through as I'm doing this. <laughs> step, 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 step. <laughs> step! And one thing that I just make sure is that you're not getting it too stuck into the piece of foam underneath. Because okay. you're probably, you're honestly, you're probably just poking it in there, you know? Uh -huh. You don't want it to like <laughs> sew it together. So basically what this needle does is it has little divots on it that grab onto the wool fibers and pull it through whatever you're felting. So here the raw wool fibers are getting pulled through the pre-existing felt. Are you right-handed or left-handed? I don't know. <laughs> I'm Am I supposed to be using one hand? Well, I don't... No, like, are you, like, ambidextrous? <laughs> yeah. Step, 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 step. So how, when do I know I'm good? Like, when it's, like, attached. I don't know. You can pull it out and look at the other side, too. See if it's, like, starting to come out. You've attached it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. So when it pokes through like that, that means it's... Ingrained it's enough? thoroughly... I mean, you can't just pull it off, it's not falling off. It's pretty solid. Cool! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just like that! <laughs> I have to say, it seems like this would be a lot of work, but once I actually got down to it, it was kind of like meditative. Like, I kind of just zoned out and just started stabbing these circles into the hat. Not to mention how calming the sound of felting is.
Anyways, there is our finished felt mushroom hat. Let's give it to the birthday girl. It's just, yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Tell me in the comments if you liked this little simple mushroom hat. By the way, my friend here also makes crafts, which she sells on her store called Ponderleaf. You can check out her Instagram or Etsy. And thank you for watching.